I don't know why I knocked. <laughs> Welcome! I'm finally filming my bathroom tour for you guys. It's been a long time in the making. You followed our extension vlogs. The bathroom is done. This is attached to my office. This is like my haven. Um, we wanted to really go for a spa theme. I wanted something very light. So we wanted to use light and airy colors, but also something warm and inviting, something that really gives that luxe spa feel. Initially, I know, did we, did I say that I was going to go for like more of a wooden, warm, dark Japanese spa theme initially, but then I changed my mind, as I do, uh, basically because I wanted to incorporate a chandelier in there, as you know, my chandelier obsession runs strong, as does the gold obsession, so welcome, come in, come in, come in. So as soon as you step in, you literally are met with this warm, inviting aroma. And that is courtesy of this Jo Malone um, Reed diffuser. This is the pomegranate noir. I shared this with you in my bathroom haul video. Actually, if you want to know where anything is from in this video, then go and check out my bathroom haul video because I did tell you where I got everything from as far as like the fixtures and the little bits and bobs are from. Okay, so. The other thing behind me is one thing that we are really proud of. This is my cupboard, which I built with my own bare hands. Okay, Hubsy assisted. I kind of told him what to do. Obviously, I just... Kind of told him what to do. Um, but this is like, we are beyond proud of this. Sorry, can you see, can you see the lemon? I'm so distracted. Sorry guys, there's a lemon on the floor here. I use it for cleaning, so I use it first to like clean the chrome and then I'll leave the peel on the floor for like a day or like overnight and because it helps to just repel insects. This bathroom is like super always sparkling clean because the kids don't come in here. This is part of what we call the okay, West Wing. It's so clean and here you could sleep on the floor. I'm getting totally distracted. Squirrel! Stop for a story. When my plumber came to um, install this, what do you guys call this? It's supposedly a douche, douchey, some people call it. Oof. Some people call it a bum shower. I just call it like my toilet spray. Um, but yeah, when he came to install this, it was so funny because I was sitting there doing whatever I was doing in the kitchen and he came out with a lemon in his hand and he was like, I just found a lemon peel on the floor, like I'm some kind of weirdo. And I was like, yeah, yeah, no, don't worry. I use it in my cleaning. In yeah, gross. <laughs> so we bought these Louvre, Louvre, Louvre. Got these doors which uh, allow a bit of ventilation from being q attached it and made this mahusive cupboard ah! you guys do you remember in the uh, house extension vlog we showed you this doorway this is a doorway into the scary utility room this whole wall is potentially going to be taken out so that this space here just comes all the way out up to here well, we asked them not to fully fill it. We asked them to kind of fill the doorway halfway, allowing for a nook to be left over. Then moving on to the vanity. Again, because I was being really specific, AKA picky with my vanity, Hubsy custom made this for me. We wanted something that was super simple, but with character. And I think granite was just the best choice for us. There's something about granite that I absolutely love. It's millions of years old, so it has this history and energy to it. I just love it. This is my favorite part of the bathroom. Hubs, you put legs on here, and then he put like this MDF frame down here. This is actually vinyl tiles that Quick Step sent to us. He stuck this on top of the MDF just to cover that up and to, again, give that sort of natural stone effect and also so that it matches better with the sink. The whole area just looks super simple and clean and of course my laundry baskets fit under here. I've got three here, one for mix, one for whites and then the small one in the middle is for my muslin cloths which I go through a lot of, of course, with my beauty routine. So the gold accessory theme sort of carries on over here. I love this plant. You know, putting nature into a space really makes a difference even though it's a fake one. I did initially want a real one which I might get. I wanted a bonsai tree but I'm not that great with looking after plants. So I think once I'm, I'm trained up a bit more on looking after plants, I'll put them here because I feel really irresponsible if I was like killing plants. I've got these containers here with my essentials. These are my daily essentials. I've got my cotton pads there. My muslin cloths are in here. I have to have a ring dish or like whatever you call this accessory dish in every room that I occupy because I'm forever losing my rings and my rubber bands and my bracelets and things like that. How nice is the sink, you guys? The whole concept of the bathroom, I think, was initially born out of my need 
for a bowl sink. I think the bowl sink just makes the whole space feel really cozy. I needed a tap which had enough projection so that there wasn't too much splashing of water outside of the bowl sink. Because trust me you guys, this stuff, planning for it, pays off in the long run. And then I've got my lovely accessory tray over here which makes cleaning a lot easier and also looks really nice. I've got my gold hook stand here. This mirror is just, oh, goals. This was like a goal achieved. Um, initially I was wanting to go for, because I didn't think that you could get mirrors this big, right? And I didn't even think to go custom, but Hubsy knows this place, he sorted it out for me. Initially I was gonna go, I was gonna do the total head of body thing and go for like a very ornate mirror, which goes with the chandelier theme and he was like no keep it simple keep it clean and just get a massive mirror for that statement and as soon as you walk in here it definitely is a statement i've got the above the mirror light up there which of course we had to plan for ahead of time but again hubsy because he was an interior designer he would tell me can i talk to you through the mirror <laughs> I, he was kind of alerting me to the fact that I had to think about where lighting needed to go and we had everything planned out ahead of time. If you watch the vlogs, the extension vlogs, you'd have seen how we'd planned out the lighting. And so the above the mirror light was really important because I knew that I wanted a mirror that was that was big. There's a lot of thought went into every little detail. Can I give an experience of the lighting? Okay. Give the experience. I think another reason why you really get that wow effect when you walk in, it's more of a subconscious thing, giving that spa feel. Um, the tiles, the tiles are really big. They're porcelain tiles, which are killer to drill through. Like how many diamond drill bits did we damage? A lot. They cost like 30 pounds each and we went through like four or five, six. We went through loads of them because they burn out really quickly because the tile is hardcore. Um, and obviously it required a lot of skill to, to put this up here. Um, and again with the flooring as well, the floor tiles are massive too, but they're such good quality. We've got underfloor heating here as well. And again, we're going for more of that neutral, natural look. It looks like stone, the floor looks like stone as well. So that I think all of that kind of works together really well in this bathroom. This is a 750 millimeter bathtub. We could have gone slightly bigger, but I wanted to leave space for, you can't see, but there are these small golden hooks down here, uh, which I hang some microfiber cloths from, and those are just for you know wiping the mirror and stuff like that. I wanted to keep this bathroom as self-contained as possible with cleaning products and stuff like that. So that's kind of hidden away back there. My bath caddy is from Amazon. This is so useful, you guys, honestly, totally, totally worth it. It has this stand for an iPad, candle holder, you can stand your phone up there if you want to watch something instead. There's a section over here which you can sort of slide a wine glass into. I tend to have like a nice herbal tea when I'm in here. Uh, and then you've got this section here, whatever products I want to go for for the day, I'll pop into here, stick the iPad on and just relax. Love it. Again, we've got glass shelves on either side of the bathtub. These are basically stocked with whatever products I'm using for my shampoo, conditioner, body cream. Um, this is a DIY bath salt that I made with my daughter. The shower is again oval shaped, going with that oval theme. And then on top of the shower, if you see that bulky bit, that bit, that is actually a shower filter to correct the pH level of the water. It's so nice to be able to just have out products that are just yours <laughs> and use them and have them be there when you go to use it again because up until now obviously the family shared a bathroom and with two kids and a man, mm -hmm. and a man it is a challenge. <laughs> Um, so this towel radiator, it's not a towel warmer, it's like a proper radiator. It's connected to our um, central heating, so it goes on with the heating in the rest of the house and it gets really hot and just the, keeps the bathroom lovely and warm along with the underfloor heating. We wanted one that was quite tall. Um, I've got my hair, what is this, like a hair towel? Hair turban. This is from Primark actually, this is so good. Um, I've got my regular hand towel and then my personalised gown that L'Oreal gave to me. So that's about, oh, the chandelier. We can't finish this video without talking about the chandelier. This is the only bathroom friendly chandelier that I found. This is IP, is it IP44? IP levels are basically indicators of how close you can keep certain light fixtures to water sources for your own safety. So this was the only bathroom friendly chandelier that I could find. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed watching my bathroom tour video. Click thumbs up if you want some more tour videos um, or specifically if you want us to do a video about decorating um, and how to get the most out of your space. I'll catch you very soon. Take care. Ooh.